Hello, people, and this video is going to be a follow-up to my video of the love story of Anastasia Tremaine and Monsieur Dagnan, which will be answering the question, should Anastasia Tremaine be a Disney princess? Now, I know what you guys are going to think, she's a Disney villain, so no. Well... In case you haven't watched the two Cinderella sequels that have come out since, Anastasia redeems herself and Cinderella uh, and we and Siles of Cinderella. Now, in the original Charles Peru version of Cinderella, one of the stepsisters is actually nicer to Cinderella than the other. And that may have been was the inspiration for Anastasia's reformation. So, she may in fact become a Disney princess in the future because of that. Now, if you watched my previous Disney princess videos, you will know that being that it takes more to be a Disney princess than just being a princess in a Disney film. There are three re there are requirements to being a Disney princess, and the th the first three are the first the first three are are a plus three. You have to be a have a be be from a. Um, be be human. You must have a primary role in an anime film, so and you must not primarily make your debut in a sequel. And then there's three other criteria which you only have to make one of: either be born royal, marry royal, or perform an act of heroism. And then there's another compulsory requirement. A optional grocery with a man, if you will, have an animal side kit. Okay, so, um, and then there's the one unspoken one, box office success. Okay, so how does Anastasia Tremaine do at those comments? Is she human? Yes! Does she have a primary one in anime film? Well, she does in the two Cinderella sequels, most prominently. In the third Cinderella film, in fact, she may in fact be the protagonist of the third Cinderella film, and uh, does she have, does she debut in her in the sequel? No, she she's in all three Cinderella films, but her good side disappear in the second Cinderella film. So does that count? I don't know. But let's go to all the other criteria. Does she is she born royal? Was she born in the family of nobility? Two, does she marry royal? She almost marries the prince in Cinderella three a twisted time, so does that count? And number three, does she perform an act of heroism? Yes, she defies her mother in both Cinderella sequels. And we and signs of Cinderella, and in the third film, she allows Cinderella to achieve her much needed happiness after. So, and also with box office success, the two Cinderella sequels went, were direct to video sequels, so I don't think they were played at the theatres. I don't know. So, does Anastasia Tremaine. Is, should Anastasia Tremaine be a Disney princess? I think so, since she is the nicest stepsister to Cinderella. However, with Gisella Tremaine, Gisella, it gets a bit more complex. I mean, there are there is material such as the Serena Valentina book, Cold Haunted and Tell of the Wicked Stepmother, and also um the original Cinderella story and also in the, and also in the twenty fifteen Cinderella we make and also in the original lands for Cinderella Three or Tristan Time where Gisella is forgiven. But 
I'm not sure about Gisela Tremaine being a Disney princess, but I'm definitely sure about Anastasia. Right? So, my question for you guys is, would, do you think Anastasia should be a Disney princess? Let me know in the comment section below. Oh, until next time, let's all tie this what's inside the house. You want to be a blind, it's what's inside the house.